guys welcome back okay so this video is very very exciting for me to do i'm very very happy because yo my girl just pgd or dj as we call her came out with her own eyeshadow palette okay so exciting can you believe it can you believe it <laughs> okay so she came out with her own palette you guys and i think it is just so bomb okay because as a makeup lover eyeshadow lover color lover you know it's like i'm always looking for a hot new palette and to have my own girl dj come out with one so exciting okay so yes this is dj's palette okay if you haven't already seen her video she did a whole video talking about her palette how she came up with the idea, the name, the colors, all that good stuff. So make sure you check out her video. Watch her video, you guys, for one, because you know you should support your girl, and for two, she has great content, and for three, she will give you all of the background on her palette. So this is her palette, it's called Our Favorite Things. It is a white palette, and it does have a sleeve that it comes out of. All the information is on the back of the sleeve as well as the back of the palette, you guys. So you have your ingredients listed here. It does have a 12 month shelf life. It's cruelty free, net weight for the shadows and all that good stuff is right here on the back of the palette, okay? So yeah, this is what it looks like. And she's so, so pretty, okay, beautiful. It's white packaging, excuse the ring light, you guys. It's white packaging, but it's that nice kind of material that you can easily wipe off. Cause let me tell you, honey, I have definitely gotten my palette dirty, playing in it, using it, having fun with it, and was able to easily wipe it off. So I do love that about this packaging. And I do like a nice, beautiful white palette. I don't know why, I just do. Now she named this palette Our Favorite Things because all of the colors that she put into this palette are favorite shades from the people that are closest to her, nearest and dearest to her heart, family members, and loved ones, okay? So that's how she came up with the name as well as the different colors that she picked. Now let's go ahead, open up the palette and take a quick look. Now, as you can see, this palette does have a nice size mirror in there. I don't wanna blind you, so I'm not going to aim it at you, but there's a nice size mirror in this palette and it is a good mirror, okay? Very good mirror. And these are the colors. It does come with a clear protective you know, covering for your shadows to make sure that they don't get all mixed together in transit. And this is what her beautiful palette looks like. Okay, you guys, you see all this color? Do you see the color? Okay, it's so, so pretty. I love the colors that she chose. Listen, you wanna talk about somebody who was surprised. I didn't even know my girl was coming out with a palette until right before she was asking what our favorite colors were and things like that and so 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 sweet she went ahead and just kind of you know added colors in here that are reflective of the favorites of her family friends closest loved ones so this purple right here that's for me y'all <laughs> <laughs> that's for your girl KK okay I love me some purple and blue and so that color is for your girl but let me go ahead and show you this palette up close I will go ahead and list the specifics and details about this palette over to the side here but as you can see really really pretty shade she picked colorful mattes beautiful shimmers duochrome satins it's absolutely gorgeous okay so this is what this palette looks like y'all so so pretty now when i was anxiously waiting to receive my palette okay because <laughs> you know my girl dj sent me one of her palettes when i was anxiously waiting for my palette i was trying to decide oh my gosh what kind of looks do i want to do what do i want to do for you guys 
And of course, you know, no brainer, I was doing a colorful look, but I decided to also do this smoky eye because I wanted to show you the range in this palette. If you'd like to do just basic everyday eye looks, a dramatic smoky eye, a beautiful, colorful, creative eye look, you can do that, okay? And not to mention this palette, the shadows are very nicely pigmented. The shimmers are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I know you guys are thinking, KK, girl, you biased. You biased, that's your girl. We already know. And you know, I'll be honest, when I first, you know, heard about this palette, I was like, I don't care. I'm going in, I'm going to rock this palette no matter what, okay? But, <laughs> Honey, I don't have to be biased with this palette. It is truly a bomb palette. It just so happened that it's from my girl, okay? I mean, I love this palette, I really do. And I wanted to do like a million looks for this video, but I wanted to hurry up and get it out for you guys so you guys can grab one of these palettes and don't miss out. But let's go ahead, jump into some swatches, and then we can get into the two eye looks that I did for you guys today. see these swatches honey very very nicely pigmented the shimmers absolutely gorgeous let me get in a little bit closer for you but oh my gosh look at the colors in this palette okay <laughs> absolutely beautiful now some of my favorite shades are this beautiful kind of like bronzy gold shimmer here oh that's so pretty this blue shimmer of course of course, the blue matte, the purple matte, this green, honey, <laughs> this green, this pink. I mean, and if you want a pigmented black, beautiful um, neutral kind of transition shades for us. Okay, we have this shade here. We have this shade here, which are really, really perfect for transition shades. Okay, but this black, you looking for a pigmented black, okay? Honey, I smoke this eye look all the way out with that black, okay? <laughs> so these are the swatches for this palette, you guys, and it swatches very, very nicely. So that's the basic information on this palette, you guys. All the swatches and the deets. Now this palette does retail for $30, which is $2 per shadow. There are 15 shadows in this palette, so I think that's a pretty good deal, okay? And like you saw, very nicely pigmented, beautiful shimmers and mattes. So if you'd like to see the two eye looks that I created today using my girl DJ's palette, Our Favorite Things, stay tuned because they're coming up next. Okay, you guys. So the first look today is a colorful cut crease. I'm starting out by prepping my lid with my P. Louise eyeshadow base. And this is in the shade Rumor 04. I'm going into the matte purple shadow and I'm just taking a dense eyeshadow brush and tapping that in my crease area, gently blending it out, but I'm making sure to build up that pigment very, very nicely in my crease. Just above that purple, I'm going into this beautiful matte pink shadow. I love this shadow, you guys. It's so, so pretty very very pigmented and it's such a vibrant pink shade i'm just using a dense another dense eyeshadow brush to blend out the edge of that purple using that pink and these two colors blend very very nicely together as you can see here now on top of that pink i wanted to go into this gorgeous it's kind of like a corally orange shade so so pretty i think this is definitely one of my favorite shadows in the palette and i'm just taking that just above that pink using that to blend out the edge of that pink as i create this nice gradient for this look 
On top of that, I'm going in with the yellow. Now this is a very, very light yellow, you guys. It's not like a deep, dark yellow, a very, very light yellow. But as you can see here, it is very, very easily buildable and it blends out very nicely and looks like this where you can just take it on the edge and it looks absolutely gorgeous with this color scheme here. Very, very pretty. And this is what this is going to look like. Now I'm cutting my crease today with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Just taking a flat brush, tapping a bit of that on my lid so I can look up and create my line for my cut crease. And I'm doing kind of like a half circle shape today, more so than a winged out shape. Now to start out this cut crease, I'm going back into that purple, just taking a small flat brush and gently tapping that on the inner and outer corners of the cut crease. Now right next to that purple, I'm going into this blue. Oh my gosh, you guys, this blue is so gorgeous. I could do a look just using this blue alone. It's so, so pretty. So I'm just tapping that right next to that purple and just blending those two shades into each other. Now for the center portion of my lid, I'm going into the gorgeous shimmer turquoise shade. Oh, it's so pretty. It just reminds me or makes me think of the ocean actually. It's just really, really pretty. A really light blue shimmer shade. And I did spray my brush as you saw and I'm just tapping that in the center of my lid. Now I'm going in with some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do color or black today so I just went ahead and went with black because I am going to bring some color into my lower lash line. I'm going in with this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner and just using that on my lower lash line. So, so pretty. I love this color blue. And I'm going into the palette using that black just below my eyelashes and just kind of smoking that out on my lower lash line. I wasn't sure how this was going to look, but I actually really, really liked it. It kind of added a little bit of dimension for that bright blue eyeliner, and I was feeling it. Now for an inner corner pop, going into this gorgeous silver shimmer, spraying my brush and just using a pointed brush to tap that. Ooh, y'all see that? <laughs> I'm just tapping that on my inner corner and I decided I wanted to bring a little bit of that blue shimmer right on top. So I just added a little bit of that on top of that silver for my lower lash line. Using these lashes today and this is the first look. Colorful, beautiful cut crease, nicely pigmented for these shadows. I was very, very pleased. Very easy to create this look. I think it came out very, very nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to look number two, which is my smoky eye that I have today. Starting out with this very, very light, it's like a light brown camel tan type shade. It's just the perfect transition shade for my skin tone. I love it. Now, you guys, I need something warm, so I'm just taking just a hint I mean, when I say I barely tapped my brush into that orange, I barely tapped it into that orange because I didn't want a super duper bright orange crease. I just needed just the slightest amount of warmth in my crease. <laughs> so I'm barely tapping into that orange using a large fluffy brush to blend that out and just gently building it up. So. Please don't think that that orange is not pigmented because honey, it is extremely pigmented. But I wanted to take my time and just gently put a flush, just a hint of that orange in my crease because with a smoky eye, you definitely need some type of transition. So 
I am I'm happy, very, very happy with how I was able to work that. Now I'm going into the darker brown shade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my husband loves that mug. <laughs> yeah, not so much. So I'm going into that darker brown shade and I'm just focusing that in my crease because that needs to be the transition from the black up into their, those warmer shades that are in the upper portion of my lid. So I'm just gently going into that brown using a smaller fluffy brush just to concentrate it right in my crease area and gently blend it into that orange. So you can see that orange a little bit better now next to that brown. I mean, just the slightest amount to create that warmth. Now for my lid, I do want to put down a black base. It's, it's a really good idea to put down a black base when you're doing a black smoky eye because it helps your lids stay black all day and it gives that black shadow something to hold on to, you know, just a nice base to hold on to. So this is what it's looking like after I put down my base. Going into that black shadow, being very, very careful not to go up too high. I'm just taking another dense brush, tapping that in my crease area and just blending it up into that brown, but trying to make sure I don't go up too high because I don't want this smoky eye to get out of hand. I know it's kind of scary using black, but if you take your time with it and just slowly build it up, gently blend it out then you know you'll be okay so i'm going back in with a brush that had that brown on it using it to blend out that crease area i just want to make sure i don't have any harsh lines also make sure that i don't take that black up too far so as you can see i'm just gently blending those colors in that crease making sure i don't cover up that orange but also making sure I don't bring that black up too high. And so now for my lower lash line, I'm going in with a black pencil eyeliner. I believe this is my Milani waterproof stay put eyeliner, if I'm not mistaken, but just bringing that dark aspect to my lower lash line, going back into that dark brown, using a dense pointed brush to blend out that brown and kind of smudge out that black liner as well so this is the final look for the smoky eye you guys added some lashes and a bold red lip and it's perfect for a night out something dramatic but i love how this palette created this smoky eye it worked out very very well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out my girl dj's video grab you one of her palettes because they are going to sell out and i will see you on my next video toodles